everyone, we're going to graph the curve whose parametric equations are x equal negative square root of t and y equals t. And this is for t greater than or equal to 0. We're going to show the orientation and also find the Cartesian equation of the curve, which I think I'm going to do first. It kind of gives us an idea of what we're looking at. So if we have x equal negative square root of t and y equals t, I'm going to substitute my t for y. So we get x equals negative square root of y. So that's our Cartesian equation of the curve. Now, let's go ahead and graph this based off this information. Um, I know it is x equals negative square root of y. So I know we're going to be in this quadrant here uh, based on what we have. But let's look and see our uh, uh, t. So we have t here. And let's start with 0 and get some key values. So if we have uh, t equals 0, then our x will be 0 and our y will be 0. Okay, I'm substituting it in here. So we have 0, comma 0. That's our starting, our initial point. Now, um, since we have this square root of t, let's choose 4. So when um, t is uh, 4, then you substitute 4, you're going to get negative 2 for your x, and your y is going to be 4. So we have negative 2, and we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's that. And let's see what we can do, if we can do one more. Um, let's let t equal 9. That's going to give me negative 3, comma, 9. So at negative 3, we're way up here at 9. So this is your curve. We're starting at 0, 0, and there's no terminal point. And your orientation is this way. So that's what you want to show the orientation. Therefore, the uh, parametricized uh, curve traces the left half of the parabola uh, defined by y equals x squared. It's the left half of it. Um, or you can say all the curve for uh, x equal negative square root of y. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.